A lot of people, when I tell them, I'm like, they're like, oh, well, what do you do for work? I'm like, well, which job? And um, they're like, well, what do you mean? Well, I do tell people that I am a topless housemaid. <laughs> and they like look at me like this. I'm like, but don't worry. <laughs> I also work as a nurse. But that's like my full-time job. Okay. I do the other stuff on the side. My whole income does not come from it, unfortunately. Um, but my fun money, that's, that's where I get my money from. Okay. But yeah, so that's why a lot of times people ask to have appointments and I'm like, sorry, um, I'm not available. And they're like, what are you like thinking I'm like wildly booked? And I'm like, no, I just did three 16 hour back to back doubles, like working as a nurse and I just want a day off. So I really only clean, like I'm available to clean two days a week and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought getting divorced was gonna be sad, but we're actually just making the best content we've ever made. So if that's your I'm thing, out. Um, <laughs> you should definitely check out the post break content. Because it is fire. We tried the tortilla challenge. <laughs> this is what they do when they are not making the content. You know, when they are not growing the onions. <laughs> Hey, you right? I'm wondering if you can help me. I need a little bit of like relationship advice. I don't know what it is, but lately I seem to keep being rejected time and time again by ugly and unattractive women. Aww. But anyway, on the other hand, I was just wondering like if I could get your numbers. So we're ugly and unattractive. <laughs> really depends on how this goes next. Yeah. Men who make less than six figures should not complain about women. You should be grateful that a woman is taking you seriously. Oh. The average man makes about 47000 a year. You should not be sitting on a podcast telling women what they should and should not be when you are broke. <laughs> Only okay. rich men should complain about women. Only rich men, but guess what? Rich men aren't doing that because they have the best pickings. Broke men are sitting behind podcasts complaining about women that they couldn't even get if they had the option to get. Because the women that they are, they want so bad are out there. They just aren't picking them. That's why they're on podcasts trying to have revenge fantasy on average women. Women are choosing the same men. Men who make six figures and over six feet tall. If you aren't one of those things, then I suggest you be quiet and be grateful that a woman is paying you any attention. Honestly. Because women are sleeping with the same small percentage of men. And that's just facts. Yes, we can agree on that fact that women are only sleeping with the 10% of the men who are wealthy and uh, tall and charismatic and all oh, blah blah ABC. So, but... When that time comes, when you hit the wall and you want to get married, please don't come back on the internet and start complaining. We don't want to hear it when you hit the wall. Do you how I can't scan myself? It's because I'm priceless. Or you're not worth anything. <laughs> okay, I just made a really important observation and this is for all the insecure girlies. I used to be one of you. I probably still am one of you. I'm just not in a relationship right now. When you're with your man and you're on the street, and you cross paths with a girl, a pretty girl. When she's looking at your man, this just happened to me. <laughs> when she's looking at your man, she's looking at your man to see if he eat, if he's oh. on your level. Not because she thinks no. he's cute. She's looking at your man to see if he is on your level. Because that's what I just did. And this girl just gave me the dirtiest look. And I'm like, honey, <laughs> this was about you. It was about you, not him. Ever. Keep telling yourself that you- Keep telling yourself that, darling. Really? Really? Do you think I would do something like this that is so uncouth? Like, I, I do have standards. Oh. And, like, my biggest question would be, like, do you really think I could get, like, 250 <laughs> I mean, if somebody's willing to pay 250 <laughs> DM me. Yeah, me. <clears throat> Where are the standards at? I guess that 250 has made you compromise on your standards. <laughs> I don't think sleeping around is necessarily a bad huh. thing. One night stands every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I mean, if that's what your life is like. Apparently, America is dealing with a huge syphilis outbreak and no one's talking about it. A huge syphilis outbreak in the various states that she mentioned. 
but Passport Bros, MGTOW, Red Pill, who else? Uh, bus drivers, sanitation workers. We beneath y'all. So we ain't getting the bunch. <laughs> You're not running around here with an outbreak in men. <laughs> Especially since over half of us are single and childless. If you ever felt like you just so fat that nobody's gonna love you, girl, come come to come to Jamaica. They love us. Let me tell you something. They chased us around this resort. <laughs> Listen, if you are over 200 pounds, bring your big <laughs> Grandma, what you doing there? That's very suspicious. <laughs> oh, so it's now women going out there to get some action, huh? <laughs> Good luck with that. We'll see how that will pan out. If you're a man and you're incapable of giving me princess treatment, or you don't even know what that is, leave me alone. Don't pass go into my DMs. I'm entirely too much for you. Leave me alone, please. I hope you know who a princess is. Because, I mean, I don't think there is a princess out there with those accounts where they sell those things. I'm just saying. Either like him or you want his money. Which is it? Both. Why are you such a loser that you need to get money out of him? Well, you're right. So, in other words, you're incapable of doing anything on your own, or you're just too lazy? I'm just too lazy. Yeah, well... I find it so comical, the amount of black men that get on my comment section and be like, Yeah, we don't want you anyway. Like, go ahead. Goodbye. There is no justification for dating down. I don't, I don't care that you have it all together. I don't care that you have a master's degree. I don't care that you own a home. I don't care that you don't need him. I don't care that you've got tons of money in the bank, that you're famous, or whatever it is you believe that you've accomplished, that you think is going to spare you from the consequences of dating a Dusty. It Can men please explain to me why I posted this photo on Instagram and it's lost me 200 followers and counting? I thought guys liked bikini photos. But whenever I post them, everyone goes. Why is it so controversial? Am I You'll so wrong? Surprised. Like, what's going on? I brought myself to a movie and the lady said that I'm the only one in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Here's the thing, there's nothing wrong with a woman wanting financial investment. It's who you're giving that to. What's happening is men are investing in the wrong women. Something we don't acknowledge on the left is that women aren't interested in mating with men who aren't economically viable. So guys, subscribe to the channel and thumbs up on the video. I'll see you in the next one.